You ready to show it to everybody? Yes. Okay, here we go. Good morning, modern steaders. It's decided to warm up a little bit. Some crazy weather. And the pigs, I guess, decided to sleep out here last night. Did you guys eat all your food? You sure did. I can't get over how much grass they eat in about 24 hours. It was that tall. And then it's like that. I think it's funny because Andy's usually by himself outside in New York City, but at night he's roosted up with the hens. Morning, Moose. Oh, I love this automatic water. Works so good. Everybody's always asking where we got our automatic water from. That one's from coopsandmore.com. There's a link in the description down below. And if you use the promo code LUMNA, you get 10% off your entire order. I think this is our order of goat herbs. Here it is. Here we got more dewormer. And we got some one well, that's supposed to help with milk production. Mm. Have a good day. Okay. I'll see you this afternoon. You can tell me all about your day when you get home. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Have fun. Thought I'd show you the door all cleaned up. The window cleaned up pretty easy. Oh, we need to paint that ugly trim. You want your grain, don't you? And we'll give her a little bit of the milk made. Might take her a couple of days getting used to the smell of that milk made, but I am sure she'll end up eating it. Same thing happened when we did the uh, herbal dewormer. Mix it again in with their feed. They were fussy about it at first, and then after a day or two, they just ate it right up. Well, I'm pretty sure she ate all those herbs. 
holy moly, I don't know if it was the herbs or what, but man, she's got some nasty goat farts right now. Willow, come on. Whew. You stink. Whew. If you don't have goats, you don't know what I'm talking about with goat farts. Man, they're bad. A lot of people transport goats in their car or SUVs in the vehicle with them. Man, if one of the goats did that in your car, whoo, I couldn't imagine it. No way. Oh, you have to pull over and air the car out, man. <sighs> if you transport your goats with a car or an SUV, I give you some mad props. I couldn't do it. The goats aren't gonna like this. But we're locking them out. I want to get some color in this barn. And brighten it up. And I don't want to just make it like fresh paint. So we're going to try making a wash with the paint. Kind of make it look like an old antique barn. Well, that's my plans anyway, so don't judge me. I don't know how it's going to work out. I'm gonna do two parts of paint to one part of water. Maybe I should have went with a deeper red. Oh well, this is what we got. This isn't too messy. Cool to show you guys once we get done picking up the goat barn. FedEx came and we got a package. I think you'll really like it. Now we just gotta put everything back together. I forgot, I didn't show it all to you. Did the, around the door, but I didn't do the door. The goats aren't happy that we locked them out. Oh, don't worry, I'm telling you, you're gonna love it once it's all done. Nice, new, bright colors. You're gonna love it there, Buttercup. Trust me. I'll let you in when Olivia gets home and then you can have your big reveal. Well, Olivia, okay? I know, I know. Everybody wants to know where are your solar LED goat lights? Well, one of them was a dud. So I had to send it back and get a new one. And that just showed up. And we got that out here charging in the sun. And then I figured, well, why we gotta wait anyways? Let's put some plywood up and paint the inside. So hopefully tomorrow we can get that hung up. Well, let me show you the other fun surprise that we got. It's not the clean windows. No, no, no. Now everybody should know we reached 40,000 subscribers the other day. And you don't, I guess you've been living under a rock. I don't know. But we're going to be doing a giveaway. And I got a good one. So, I know not everybody has chickens or wants to raise chickens or likes herbs. So Coops and More, I talked with Jason over at Coops and More, and we got a five in one, they call it a propane scalder, but let me take it out and assemble it. It's more than a propane scalder. It can be used for so many different things. I'll show you.
Now, Gina doesn't need to know that we're building this on her kitchen floor. So it's a propane scalder, but you can also use it for a hot water bath canning, for shrinking your shrink bags when you package in your chickens, you can use it for boiling, you can use it for steaming, frying, the list goes on and on. I believe this is an eight gallon pot. And then we have, then we have a strainer for doing your steam bakes. And this is gonna be perfect for water bath canning. thing I really like about this one, this is the only propane burner that I've seen that has a dial on it, like a gas grill, so you can regulate your flame. And it's got an igniter. And then we're gonna be giving away two copies of the Homesteaders Herbal Companion by Amy Fuel, forward by Joel Salatin. So there's gonna be a link in the description down below. If you sign up for our newsletter, you're gonna be entered in for your chance to win. We're gonna pull the name on Sunday, and we'll probably do a special video on Sunday announcing the winner. If not, we'll do it in Monday's video. You just have to keep your eye out. This is gonna be fun, I can't wait. And it's only for US citizens. I know, I'm sorry. I'll we'll have to figure something out some other time. Yeah, for people outside the US. All right guys, here's the sign the girls made. I can't show it to you just yet. We gotta get it ready to hang it up. I will say they did a really good job on it. And you'll see it in It'll be a couple of minutes in your time anyways. Do you think your cat likes that? Yes. You want that? Like so? Okay, the goats have been waiting for you all day. Oh, you broke it. <laughs> I told them they couldn't see their new digs until you got home. <laughs> Go ahead, sneak in. Sure. Do I have to do a second coat? No, nope, I want it see-through. No, but you can see like the writing. That's okay. <laughs> hey, oh. Uh oh, we have to repeat the. No. Yeah. I spilled and made a mess. It's okay. What do you think of the red? I like it. You like it? Does it make it prettier in here? Yeah. Do you think the goats like it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they like it so much they're going for seaweed. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen any of the goats using the salt rock. It's my shirt you're nibbling on. I'd like to keep that on. Excuse you. I sure do like the seaweed. Where have you guys been, huh? Where have you been? Watch out, chickens. <laughs> you might get hurt. You better watch out. Mm. Oh! <coughs> so they take a bite out of one, or two bites, and then they move on to another one. Yep. Oh, this one's so gross. Feel it. Yeah, it's ew. It's like rotted right there. Yeah. How about this one? This one's a little sweet. Yeah, that's why we got all these because they're past. Okay, I'll throw the last two. That's the last three. Oh, yeah, I mean, but cause now it's the last two. Now it's the last one. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad I didn't get one. I thought you were going to knock Lynx out. So did I. This one's heavy. Oh, yes, I did it. 
Didn't hit any pigs. Or chickens! How's it going in there? The chicks look good. What are you up to, Moose? You still need to work on that crow. No, I like it that way. You like it that way? We got something for you later on, Moose. You gotta like it. Shh, don't tell him what it is. I'm not. I'm just telling him he's gonna like it. Okay. Andy, you're always on this side. Oh, you got two girlfriends this afternoon. Just the ladies' man, aren't you? And Moose's too. Oh, there's another one hiding under there. Better not tell Moose. Four. Oh. Five. Oh my. Watch out, Scully. Is that good? It smells like cucumbers over here. <laughs> it does, doesn't it, huh, Livy? Chicken gravy. Oh, that smells so good. We had a whole chicken for dinner last night, so some gravy for some chicken broth from it. Made it into gravy and the leftover chicken. Dinner, we get to show them the surprise. Mm -hmm. They have to wait. I know about it. You know about the surprise. That's right. I want to do it with crap like this. Hey! Bless you. Oh, well, goodness. <laughs> Where's the middle? The middle is right where you had it. Somewhere around here. Well, let's do it with the middle with us. Yeah, with us. You ready to show it to everybody? Yes. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh no, it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, I guess we gotta leave it like that. That's it, it's gotta stay like that forever. Oh man. No, it really is. Oh, That's it. it. Oh, it's upside down. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, Gina and Olivia made that. And I didn't get any footage of it. What do you think, guys? Do you like it? I love it. Do you love it? Moose, where are Moose? you? Moose, do you like it? Do you approve? Do you approve? What do you think, Moose? Come here. Come on. Perfect. Yeah, he approves. Yeah. Yep. Moose, come look at it more, closer. I like it. You girls did a good job. Good job cutting the board. We all had took our part. Yeah. Wait, let me do it again. Let's go see the goats before it rains out. <laughs> you girls like the sign? You got a good view of it. Levies. You didn't eat all your cucumbers yet. There was a lot. There was a lot. They ate most of them. Yeah, they probably only have about like two left. Four maybe. <laughs> Brightens it up in here. I like it. The goats like it. Like it. Yeah, it gives them some color in their lives. 
this is where we're gonna end today's video. In the description down below, I'm gonna have the links to enter in to win the giveaway we're doing for our 40,000 subscribers. <laughs> Wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that, and we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. Hey guys, tomorrow in home setting, testing, and freedom. Bye. Bye.